dessert and coffee here in UGC and the basis of our of why we pick those restaurants that we're going to eat at is because they are the highest rated one of the highest rated restaurants here in UGC and we'll see if they really live up to their ratings so later we'll rate natin sila and we'll see if masarap talaga do this review we have to set things straight first and are we professional food critics are we oh! no <laughs> we're just ordinary citizens of the, the Philippines and the world are we in any way affiliated with any of the restaurants that we're going to of course not we don't know the owner <laughs> we don't know anything about it and last but not the okay. least are we getting paid to do this? Of course not. But, uh, but we why, wish. That's why you have to <laughs> like and subscribe. You have to watch our video. While Floor Restaurant was established in 2012, they are known for their premium price food made with ingredients of its highest quality. They have a diverse menu choices that caters not only to locals but also expats alike. So our first stop for today is Wild Star Restaurant. And we're eating here when it's alert level 4 where only 10% of the capacity of the dining capacity is allowed. So that's why we are here and we reserved in advance. I actually called them four days ago to make a reservation because this place is I heard is very popular especially when it's uh, weekends and the place can easily get full. Okay, I'm going to have my first bite of this sun. Sabi nila ano daw, best seller daw. So it has um, fresh greens, mangoes, walnuts, and goat cheese. So itong goat cheese, lasang goat. Crunchy on the outside, a bit juicy on the inside. Ang lakas ng saltiness niya. Salty yung salty yung overall taste na nakukuha ko dito. It's a saltiness. 
So I think uh, it must be balanced out by uh, the mashed potato. Mm. So I'm going to taste their roast chicken. According to their server, this is one of their best sellers. That's why this is what we ordered. Let's see. So I mix the chicken with the mashed potato. I like the mashed potato. It's so it melts in your mouth. A taste of carrots. Crunchy. Mm. I think the mashed potato works well with the chicken. It's okay. But Honestly, it's a bit overpriced. It's a bit It's a bit spicy. It may scent na malakas eh. It reminds me of airplane food. For some reason, it reminds me of airplane food. Which I don't like. Sila gusto nila airplane nila liyan. Matako yung ko yung may, may weird taste kasi airplane food eh. I don't know why. For the record, I love airplane food because it reminds me of traveling. So, pa may bias. Pero we love airplane food. Don't hate me. So I'm going to have my kimchi rice, fried rice. Let's see. It's like an explosion of flavor. And I like how it's spicy and salty at the same time. Mm. It's very flavorful. Yeah. How much for me? Everything. Mm. We're looking at the. It looks like it's empty. When you look outside, there are more people eating. So our next stop is Pharmacy Ice Cream Parlor. Pharmacy Ice Cream and Soda Fountain opened its first store in 2014 here in BGC. And surprisingly, they are owned and managed by the same people who are also the brainchild of Wildflower. They offer homemade ice cream, milkshakes, soda, coffee, and pastries offering tons of unique flavors and concoctions that is perfect treat for the hot weather in the Philippines. Our meal isn't complete without dessert. Chocolate lover, so tignan natin kung paano siya. Hmm. Well, I like the chocolate. Mm. It actually reminds me of Tablea, Tablea chocolate. But it's not that dark. And the brownies. Let's taste the brownies. Let's put some chocolate, eh, put some ice cream. Mmm! Mm. Oh. I like the chocolate because it's a bit dark chocolate. It's not too sweet. It's a, it has a bitter sweet taste to it. And it complements the, the sweetness of the ice cream. Good.
Sika is originally from Kyoto, Japan, where the first flagship store opened in 2014. In the Philippines, it opened its first branch in 2018 at W City Center BGC. The concept is very much straightforward Japanese. Its interiors are very clean and minimalist, just as their menu. Now we are here at Arabica, and I order their best set. Their Spanish latte. Okay, Our last stop for today is coffee. How was it? Mild uh, roastiness. Uh, I think of uh, maltiness. In a pink uh, chocolate uh, aftertone. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good. Still the same Spanish latte that we like from Arabic. Actually, this is also our first time to go to their second branch here in BGC. And it's really nice. It's very clean. But apparently, there are just a lot of people. that much uh, food walking and eating we're going to rate the three different places we've been to mm. so our ratings will be based on our overall experience not just the food so the ambience the service everything so let's see first place that we're going to rate is wild flower wildflower restaurant so in I think in uh, Google Google reviews it's four point four over five. Paul will write his own rating over five and I will also write my own rating. Okay, ready? Show it! Wildflower restaurant overall rating. Huh? I give 2. it a 2.75. Me 3.5. Oh, bakit? Why 2.75? Kasi yung food, uh, hindi ko masyado nagustuhan eh. So, I like yung chicken, overall yung chicken, tsaka yung kimchi rice, medyo on the salty, medyo na salty on the salty side sila eh. Chicken's not so tender. Overall, uh, the food is okay, like a typical restaurant. But the problem is the price is not your typical restaurant. They are... Uh, uh, value for money 2.75 for me overall me, 3 point, 3 .5. it's not so bad um, I like the service Parang every now and then the the server is very attentive ay umuulan umuulan na and the food is okay ayun nga siguro because mataas yung expectations natin yeah! next one is pharmacy ice cream and soda shop I think their rating in Google reviews is 4.5. So we'll see. Okay, okay la. Ready? Okay, ready. Go. 3.5. For wow. me, 4. So parang nothing, again, nothing extraordinary, nothing so special. It's quite good, but it's okay. Especially for the price, it's uh, kind of expensive for me. Like, it's 3.50 and sabi ko, Supposedly, it's about 200 to 250 lang ko siya bibilin. So, without knowing the price pa nun. So, saka medyo matigas yung, ano, yung brownie itself. So, it's it's kind of hard to to chew on. So, and parang ordinary lang yung uh, ice cream. Yun. Okay, for me, four. Kasi the servers are also really nice. When I went there, they they really um, they really know the, the best sellers. And they were so accommodating to help me choose what flavors to get for the ice cream sundae. And I, ako gusto ko yung ano, yung brownies. I like it. I like the the chocolate. It's not very sweet. It's on the dark chocolate side, which is really nice. So, if you think na we should have ordered something else from Wildflower and Pharmacy, you comment down below. And if you think na 
you don't agree or you agree with our ratings, comment down below. <laughs> and last but not the least, Arabica coffee. Okay, I think uh, from all of the places we've been to, ito yung pinakamataas yung rating, which is 4.6 over 5. And our rating for Arabica is... It's 4 also. Wow, 4.3. 4 <laughs> so, yeah, okay naman yung coffee. It's <laughs> Arabica, so... Yeah, masarap naman siya. Pero it's kind of expensive. Like 190 for one iced uh, coffee. Diba? So, very ambience yun. Maganda, maganda ambi ambience niya. Very light, airy, and uh, very yung simple yet uh, sophisticated. Ayun. Classy. Yeah. So, 4.3. Me, 4. 4 over 5. It's, Arabica is really good. They have good coffee, but the, syempre yung menu nila, onti lang din yung choices. But I guess that's how they work. Eh. Very simple lang sila, minimalist. If you agree with us, if you don't agree with us, or if you think that we should try other things, uh, we didn't get the right uh, food, comment down below, let us know. And if you want us to try other uh, food places, you also have to comment. And if you want us to do this again, you just have to like and subscribe and follow us. Bye! Bye. See you again next time. Bye!